Oh, hey there. Come on in. Yeah, Sasha let me know you were coming. I know. It's been wild. What did they settle on calling it? The... the coalescence? Oh, that name's never gonna stick. I kinda like the one that the, um... Oh, what's their name? The Merman came up with. The time-space bubble from hell. <laughs> now that seems accurate. I mean, we're all just making do. We're lucky that our little pocket of reality has some arable land and, and water sources in it. Probably need to keep an eye on reproduction, though. Don't really know how many people it can sustain. Ooh. Unless the bubble from hell is expanding. Huh. That's a thought. No, no, you're right. It's not like there are a ton of people from the same reality stuck here. It's singles and couples and whatever from other realities. I mean, there are what? Three humans? One of whom is purple? How many avians got pulled through anyway? I know it's you, but... Oh, gosh. What's the dark-haired one's name? Really? Just you two. Hmm. Well, I guess that's why you're here today. Can't quite envision the two of you preening each other. <laughs> what? I can't. You don't exactly seem like bosom buddies, lovebirds, nest mates. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm not actually sure what things I'm supposed to say and not. Um, just, uh, let me know. And I'll adjust to whatever you prefer. Yeah. Right. So Sasha let you know the deal, didn't he? Yeah, I, I wish we had someone who was actually trained to do this, but with a variety of different species here, a zoologist is honestly the closest thing we've got. A doctor for each species, like, that's not exactly feasible. Otherwise, all we would be doing is spending our days doctoring each other while... I don't know, our houses withered and died and we starved to death. Not actually sure we can starve to death here. Let's, let's really not test that. Um, anyway, I'm sorry that we don't really have a specialist, but we have me, so <laughs> that's exciting. Um, with that said, I, I am going to have to rely on you to tell me some things about your body. Um, because I'm, I'm more familiar with other birds, and I'm guessing this isn't one-to-one -one with, like, parrots or, um, budgies. Maybe harpy hawks. The shape of the wings is close. Um, it's not, it's not quite right. I mean, you are pretty humanoid. I've got to stop saying that. That's very... That's very human-centric of me, isn't it? That, that doesn't quite work anymore. Um, super rude of me. Right. Right. Well, we might as well get started. Um, so I know I made the, the doctor comparison before, but really this is going to be more like going to, um, a chiropractor. Or a groomer? Do you have those? Oh, no, I, I mean chiropractors. Do you have chiropractors where you're from? 
Really? Huh. Go figure. Anyway, I am... Um, I don't really have a, a bedside manner. Um, I haven't really needed one before. Tigers don't really care. Well, they, they do, but it's, it's a different sort of bedside manner. Um, sit down? Sit down. I guess. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll take a look at your wings. Um, so have there been, um, any major changes since the coalescence slash multiverse from hell came upon us? Um, excess shedding, discoloration, pain. I mean, I wouldn't blame you to be honest. It's not exactly been, um, not stressful. Well, that's good to hear. Just kind of running my fingers through. They they do seem um, to be in a little disarray, especially back here. I'm guessing that's where you can't reach. Yeah, it's it's definitely hardest for people who are used to a more um, more close knit community. I don't know if um, if you were used to that kind of family unit or flocking, I guess. Um, yeah, Re relying on that support, then having it disappear, I, I can't imagine. Oh, I've, I've always been a weirdo. Just me and the animals. <laughs> huh. So, apologies if this is rude. Since you have a nose instead of a beak, I'm guessing that one of my main tasks is just going to be, um, running my fingers through the feathers and kind of zipping them closed, focusing on areas where you can't reach. Yeah. Sounds good. Let me just come and... Oh. Wow. Sorry, it's just... You're really beautiful. <laughs> you know that? I, I mean, your feathers. Your, your feathers are... really beautiful. Yeah, they, um... They don't quite come in this color where I'm from, and these are... I mean, this is... gold. I want to wear it as jewelry. Oh, I said that out loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Yeah. Like I said, I um, don't get out much. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be allowed to talk to people. Oh. Um. Good. Good. I'm glad. Wouldn't want to make it weird. Weirder. Hmm. Would you, um, would you stretch your left wing for me? Thanks. Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we do have, um, birds, but they tend not to look quite so, um, semi-precious? Metallic? Some of them can have really brilliant colors, but nothing like this. I mean, honestly, you're... you're something else. Oh, sorry. Did that twinge? <laughs> Didn't mean to make you fluff up. <laughs> yeah, just um, just let me know if something feels not quite right. <laughs> but yeah, it's 
it's really impressive. And I mean, you, you obviously take good care of yourself, even in the midst of everything. Hmm. There we go. And this one. There we go. Mm. So, question. How exactly do you go about cleaning these anyway? In my version of reality, birds just use water. And sometimes people who keep them as pets use um, a special shampoo, but honestly, they don't need to. Just strips the oil off. Counterintuitive. Um, so yeah. Hmm? Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. Um, some humans keep birds as pets. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't really think saying that through. Well, I mean, no, I, I've never really had any, never, never really wanted to. What? No, no, oh god, um, why do I keep talking? I just mean, I've, I've never been put in the position. But I'm sure you'd be lovely. To keep. If you wanted to be kept. Oh, I'm not making this any better. Some of you keep humans as pets. Now you're just teasing me. Oh, there's no way out of this conversation path. Um, good news though. One wing down, so you only have to put up with me for a little while longer. Okay, um, left wing down, please, and right wing up. There we go. Okay, and we... There we go. So, what was it like for you? For me, it was like... Mm, falling off the bed. If, I mean... <laughs> if under the bed was a giant black hole that you fell into... <laughs> Oh, man. Child me would have had a panic attack. Oh, yeah. Super disorienting. I thought I was losing my mind. One moment, I was in my office. And the next moment, on the floor. Well, the grass. On the grass. Staring up at this lavender sky and not even I don't know not even lavender like a sunset but lavender like an Easter egg that you might find at the store you know one of the plastic ones no no of course not never that would have made any sense to you um yeah we, plastic eggs are a thing sometimes yeah mm. You like falling. Huh. I guess you would. Or that it wouldn't be like falling for you, exactly. Hmm? <laughs> oh, now that, that sounded like a bad pickup line. I think you're just saying that to make me feel better. Being a complete dork. Ugh. <laughs> and I am sorry. You're you're gonna get tired of hearing me say this. You're just You're so pretty. I'm almost jealous. Like look at this. Yeah, well, as, as long as you take it as a compliment. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Hmm. You know, your musculature is fascinating. 
There has to be some sort of defiance of physics here, because you feel so much more solid than you should. I mean, I think. I guess. Just, just from a distanced, impersonal observation. <laughs> Physics is probably different and... Oh. Yeah, that's that's not comforting at all. It's probably true, though. Hmm. Well. Selfishly, I don't want to stop touching your feathers, but I should be honest and admit that with this one... I think you're all done. <laughs> no, I mean it. They're, they're stunning. That other bird can't hold a candle to you. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm? Oh, I, I couldn't. I mean... Are you sure? I... <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'd, I'd love that. Oh, I, um... Oh, I wasn't expecting you to put it in my hair. <laughs> what do you think? Suit me? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's get you out of here, pretty bird, before you make me blush so much that I stay that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy skies. See you around, feathers.